Your Majesty, I shall present you to the governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. Welcome back, my name is Last No Meal, and today we're going to be talking about Greedfall, since we finally have a lot of things to talk about. So we're going to break down the gameplay and a new trailer from E3, discussing the story, fighting mechanics and so much more. If you don't know already, Greedfall is a new upcoming RPG from Spider Studio. You maybe know these guys from games like Bound by Flame and Technomancer, but Greedfall is their biggest project yet. Greedfall is set during the 17th century, featuring Baroque-style architecture, clothing, weapons and so much more. When it comes to story, Europe is already plagued by a new disease, so to find a cure and run away from danger, colonials discover a new island called Tir Fradi. But the island itself already has native people living in it, so it's up to us to use diplomacy to try to calm down the war between the colonials and the natives while fighting various beasts around the island. When it comes to new information, we will have a fully customizable character from choosing the gender, body type, hair and everything that goes with it. We also have different skill trees depending on our character from melee, ranged weapons and also magic. Also, every single choice we make will have a consequence, again, depending on our relationship with factions and also which side we choose to join. What I love about this game is that every quest, even a side quest, will have an impact on the main story, because they decided that Greedfall is not going to have fetch quests, so this means that even though we are a colonial, we will still be able to join the natives, well, including other factions. Also, the native girl from the gameplay and trailer as well, she is called Sior, and she will be one of our main characters that is also going to be our companion. Companion system is detailed, we will be able to hire multiple people, and based on our decisions, they can either love us, hate us, even betray us. We will have 14 different types of weapons, so overall there is going to be a huge selection of weapons and armors as well. When it comes to armor, we will have different armor pieces that we find as we play the game. When it comes to combat, so far what we've seen looks promising, you have dashes, different status modifiers and it looks fluid. But again, we need to see that in the final product, also combat is not everything. We have diplomacy, by using that we can really benefit and everything we choose will reflect on the end game. When it comes to animations, it looks satisfying and also level design and graphics are really well done from what we see in these gameplay segments. Stealth system is going to be implemented in the game, meaning there are many ways we can finish a certain quest, from fighting all the way to diplomacy and stealth as well, meaning if we go into a base and we kill someone, if we do it in stealth, they won't know who did it and they won't hate us. It seems that our main protagonist is called a Sardet, and the mark on his neck looks really strange. Now, being either a disease or a way to use magic in general, and it seems Siora is a queen of some sort that will join us in these negotiations, and the Sardet is a mercenary working for the congregations of merchants. When it comes to release date, the game is set to release in 2019. We have no info when exactly, but it seems the release date was pushed since the game was originally supposed to come out in 2018. But this is good because they will have more time to polish and work on the game for the end result to be great. This definitely looks promising, from everything we've seen, the look of the game and overall gameplay truly looks like one of those older action RPGs that I really loved, really reminds me of Bloodborne and Gothic at the same time, Bloodborne for the feeling and Gothic for gameplay. It also seems that the island we're going to play in is going to be rich in various things, I am guessing we are going to have some sort of crafting system and some sort of alchemy system, this will definitely benefit us as we play the game, because I have seen that during combat it is able uh, to use uh, potions, so at the end of the day if we're able to gather different uh, plants around the island and make some potions that will uh, increase our fighting chance in battle is going to be amazing. But this is everything we have for today, when they release new info I will keep you guys informed. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more and tell me down below what you think about this game, for me this is definitely on my watch list. Talk to you guys in the next video and bye bye.